Hey guys, Logan here. In today's video, we are going back to Battlefield 4 and talk about a really cool feature, Levolution. And not just talk, I wanna show you all the Levolutions and how to activate them. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, Levolution is a feature that can be activated by players on the map and it makes an impact on the current map layout. You will understand better when I'll show you. Let's go. Let's start with the map Dawnbreaker. On this city map, you can actually blow up two underground pipes and this will make the whole street explode. These pipes are located in two separate underground rooms in the middle of the main street near flag B and flag D on Conquest. Increase the pressure on both panels and then this will happen. Oh yeah, that's a real boom. Awesome. Okay, on the map Flood Zone, you are playing much of your time on top of buildings. This is for a reason. If you like to activate the Levolution on this map, all you need to do is blow up the dam that keeps the water away. Blow this up and it floods the map. Personally, I like the map without the Levolution activated, but if you like to try, just go to the dam with a lot of explosives. On the map Golmod Railway, big piles of explosives can be found in different locations on the map. You can activate these explosives to make a big boom, perhaps for some unexpected enemies in tanks or, I don't know, maybe an airplane. But it looks like this. Let's head over to the hotel on the map Hainan Resort. This hotel can be altered by players if you use some explosive in the correct way. The hotel is located in the center of the map and if you destroy the first two ground floors on either left or right side of the hotel, you will demolish the left or right side of the building. Take a look at this. Oh yeah, pretty nice Levolution. Next up is the map Lankan Dam. Upper center of the map we have a huge dam and guess what? We can blow it up. With some well placed explosive to the center of the dam will do the trick. The dam will break and very big pieces of it will fly and roll over the map. No water this time but you can't kill people with the debris from the dam. Try it next time you play the map, it's really fun. It's an awesome Levolution. Let's go underground on the map Operation Locker. In the center of the map on flag C, you can blow up this guard tower. All you need to do is place some explosive on the bottom pillars that support the tower. Blow them up and the tower will go down. This is actually kind of important to do according to me. It will make the flag more accessible for the team want to cap it. And it looks cool too. And now to the sunny beaches of Parcel Storm. When you play this map, you will notice that the weather will start to change when it's about 400 tickets left for one team. When the storm hits, one of the windmills will catch on fire and if you use weapons and vehicles to fire at the windmill and destroying it, this will make a battleship go straight for objective C and destroys the building on that location. Take a look at this. Oh yeah, looks really, really cool. Over to Rogue Transmission. On this map you can destroy the disc by bringing down the huge hanging part above it. The hanging part have three support cable groups on the map. Destroy two out of three supports and this will bring down the hanging part and destroy the giant disc. And a pro tip, don't be standing in one of these towers as I did. But it looks really cool and it feels like a movie sequence. If you can guess which movie I'm thinking about, leave it in the comment section down below. On the map Siege of Shanghai, you can completely demolish the big skyscraper in the center of the map, also known as Flag C. All you need to do is destroy the four support beams at the back of the skyscraper. This will cause the entire building to collapse, leaving a pile of rubble and a large dust cloud around the area. Flag C is still available, but now it's on the ground instead on top of the building. Thank you. 
Last vanilla map is called Savod 311. On this map you can detonate a bomb on flag D. On the flag location you can find a laptop, just activate the timer and when the times run out the bomb will detonate and change the layout of the map in this location. Keep in mind that the timer can be stopped by your enemies. This is an effective way of forcing vehicles to drive around the two center objectives instead of straight in between them. Okay, there you have the Levolutions of Battlefield 4 vanilla maps. Which one did you like the most? Leave it in the comment section down below. I'm planning on making videos on DLC maps and different Levolutions as well, so stay tuned for that. Tell me if you want to. If you want to see the DLC Levolutions, leave it in the comment section as well. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe for more content and please hit that like if you enjoyed the video or dislike if you didn't. I hope to see you in my next one. This is Logan, signing out.